Um, well, if you ask my wife, she'd say I was obsessed. So, so, um, and and I'd say it probably is an obsession. I hadn't appreciated when I did this how 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 uh, rewarding it would be from other things. I, I thought of it just as somebody would think of a, any hobby, just kind of rather self-serving, just thinking, oh, how it's going to be fun. But this, it turned out to be, it turned out to be helpful for various re reasons. Uh, my name's Gregory Cobb. My day job is a, uh, I work for IT for a, a smart energy, a smart metering company. So, uh, I, I started it about uh, six years ago. I have to think about that. Yeah, about 20, 2015. So uh, it, it was uh, something I'd, I'd fancied doing for a, for some time, but never really had the chance to. Um, children were young, or I was. I used to work uh, abroad a lot and do a lot of travelling, so I didn't really have the chance and really have to be around. It's not. It's not really a um, hobby or occupation you can just uh, leave going and then uh, be away. It come to a, a time in my uh, uh, career when I thought I'd actually like to slow down and this was something that I, there was a course happening in, in, uh, over in uh, Tilford and then the rest if they say is the history but I, I ended up uh, getting into it. My time is taken up so much, especially in the summer, so much on uh, on um, just treating, uh, well most, my, most of my Saturday, the entire Saturday is taken up um, uh, beekeeping related to bees and so it can probably it can get rather exasperating but I'm just not around or doing anything and uh, it gets to it gets to about August when I'm thinking wow this is this needs to die down and then winter I'm, I'm completely free so and then that's probably just as annoying because I'm around all the time so it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged store for her. It's a great hobby it's it's um because of the uh, Therapeutic, the stress. No, no, I don't really suffer stress, even at work. You know, it's it's a, it's a, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's a truly beneficial for that purpose. The most fulfilling thing is just you feel it, it, because it's so far removed from what I do throughout my in my career. It's just it, it's uh, you get in tune with nature and you see um, the effects of all sorts of different factors on, on something like bees or a colony of bees can, can be impacted by a number of things, the weather, the uh, forage, the local area and uh, pollution as well. So you can, uh... Other insects such as um, bumblebees, um, and various types of wasps, See, it appeared to me to have been certainly this year have been, uh, have been greatly reduced. Even amongst beekeepers, they, they don't always agree. But even wasps, the decline of wasps, wasps are a, a misunderstood uh, insect because they've got they can pester us in, in picnics and we can pass them nest or they may sting you. But they they're incredibly important to the especially the beginnings of the uh, beginning of the season. The um, and they also pollinate as well. So the decline of pollinators and other bit, other insects that are ne less glamorous than bee uh, than honeybees, and they all have a part to play. And so, if you the lack of the loss of pollinators and the loss of, of that one one because of their system being so important, one tiny um, missing piece can make the whole thing collapse. I don't think anyone will realise until things are gone how how important they might be. Bees behave as a as I said, as a, as a, as a super organism, so the, they have a collective mind. They don't act selfishly. If, if humans as an organization could, could organize themselves as in the way bees did, it would be beneficial. I mean, people act according to their own selfish desires. They do things because it helps them. It doesn't, they don't necessarily do things to, uh, to help others generally. And so if, if, if society could behave more like that, it would be beneficial. Do you think we're anywhere near that? No, <laughs> very little. No, 
Well, I mean, we are armed, and I think because um, as soon as as soon as you realise it's going to cost <laughs> cost you, may, a lot of these decisions kind of fall down the wayside. They realise, oh, collectively, we don't want to pay. We want it fixed, but we don't want to pay for it. But I'll suffer. So, so I don't know whether we'll see how that goes. How 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 we can collectively decide to, to improve that. We'll, we'll see if there are any in there. I know a lot of beekeepers, and myself included, it, it's a very good, because it's therapeutic, and, and uh, take an, uh, another expression would be just for mental health. It's, it's a, the therapeutic the nature of it, 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 you don't realize it, but it's, um, it, it's, it's very good for, for mental health. So, so the lack of the loss of that would be uh, regrettable.